Good morning and welcome to Ignite Kids News. In today's headlines, Peter has a vision from God. The vision is very, very confusing. Peter has a new job to do. With more of this exciting news story, let's go over to Trev who's talking to Peter in person. Over to you, Trev. Well, thank you, Jen. Good morning. <clears throat> Today I'm, I'm in the coastal town of Joppa in the home of Simon the Tanner. Well, and this is, this is Peter. It's just a bit smelly in here, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I think it's working with, with, with animal skin, but you can see this nice leather sofa uh, that, that Simon's obviously made from his, his tanning. Well, I'm, not, I'm here this morning to talk to Peter about a rather strange experience. Um, tell me about it. Yeah, right, well, uh, oh, yesterday, uh-huh, our Aunt Ruth, looking at you, uh-huh, and I felt a little bit, uh, hungry. Oh, of course, yeah. So what do you do? You want to have some food? Well, I said to Simon, uh, any chance of a, a snack? He said, right, stay there, I'll go and get you some. So, oh, I left you there. Where were you? Aunt Ruth. And I'll lie in there, looking at birds, and sky, and clouds. And I just said, dozed off. You, know, you fell asleep? No, no, I just dozed off. Ha, <laughs> okay. And then what? Well, strange thing. Like a sheet came down to the sky. A sheet? You sure it wasn't a cloud? No, it was a sheet. It came right down. And... It was full of animals. It was a sheet full of animals. Yeah. And what, what? Well, in, in there there were birds and even reptiles. And then a voice said, Peter, rise, kill and eat. And I said, no, I can't do that. They're on plane. Oh, there were some of the animals in there, then birds that were forbidden. Yeah. Well, to be honest, I could I often fancy the dick and Sally. <laughs> And you're not allowed. No, no, not allowed. Unclean. So, 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 did you, did you rise and kill any? No, it was a vision. Of course, it was just a vision. So, so, what did you think of that? Well, then the voice said, "Don't call anything that I've made unclean." So, who do you think was telling you this? It was Holy Spirit. All oh, right. See, Jesus, he was here, and now he's gone. He's gone back to heaven. So it, God sent his Holy Spirit and told me nothing I've made is unclean. So what do you think this vision means? I don't know. It, it, it came three times. Three times? Yeah. God really wants to get through to you, doesn't he? He certainly does. And, and, and then, uh, and then, must have come around again and uh, Simon shouts, Hey, there's three guys here to see thee. Right, who were they? Well, they were sent by the uh, centurion. Which centurion? Uh, uh, what's those things you get at the feet? Corns. Yeah, Cornelius. He was at that scene. Oh, what does he want? Well, he wants me to go to his house. So he's going. Well, I shouldn't really, because he's not Jewish and I'd be unclean. But the vision. So God's telling you nothing he made is unclean. That's right. So are you going? Yep. Yeah. So does that mean? Direct this time, we'll, we'll go. Okay. And then what? Well, maybe next week you can ask him. All right. So next week you might talk to Cornelius. All right. With that, Jen, it's back to the studio. Thanks, Trev. It's great to see that God is working in new ways through the power of his spirit. I'm so glad that Peter realised that God was telling him to go to new people. OK, that's it from us from Ignite team. I hope you have a wonderful summer. Don't forget to log into our Ignite channel on YouTube and Facebook and see what fun the holiday club people have been having. Uh, I'm going to hand over to Grace and Olive now who are going to pray for us. Bye, everybody.